Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. Oh, COVID. Now look at what you've done. The NAL has decided to go on ahead with a May 22nd kickoff. And honestly, that's leading towards no season in 2021 at all. It, this league's down bad. Down pretty bad. And, um, you know, eight game schedule now. Teams been keeping in contract with the, with the arenas and stuff like that. And there's no way. With the way the United States has handled COVID-19, there's no way that a season's going to happen, at least in, in the sense of that there's going to be fans. There's no way a season's going to happen at all in your indoor level. At the very least, the I, we may see the IFL next month. We may see the CIF next month. But the AL said, all right, we're going to do May again. We don't know how this thing is going to go between now and May 22nd. But honestly, I'm seeing the NAL, you know, it, 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 is, it is on its death. It is on its death doors anyway. It is starting to die to where, you know, the IFL is taking their teams, making them better. Just having those teams live longer. But, you know. And then the surprising story is that this came from Atlanta, so I'm assuming the NAL headquarters are in Atlanta now. I don't know how. Oh wait, no wait, Columbus is out there, you know, Columbus, Georgia. Um, yeah, you, 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 there's no way that you know the league can play with any fans right now, and there's really no way anyway for the opportunity to go cross country to Ontario. There's just no way. To do that for all these East Coast teams going cross country. I've been saying it. I'm going to continue to say it. There is no way. There there should not be an Ontario Bandits in this league. Uh, apparently, I've heard some rumors that Ontario was, was not invited to the IFL. So they decided to oh, we'll just be like, oh, well, we're just going to jump on ship here to the NAL, you know, and stuff like that. Because they could pay the fair franchise fee, which is like $100,000 or something like that. Think, you know, it was a franchise fee of a hundred thousand um, dollars that they couldn't pay in time. You know, in time before the expansion deadline, and and they want, and they want still, they still want the you know the fourteen playoffs. They still want their championship on August fourteenth. You know, um, but I don't think that's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. And you know, for touting yourselves as the premier league in arena football. That is definitely false. And, you know, these types of blows continue to happen. At least the CIF wouldn't, won't say anything about, you know, what's been going on there. We know it's a budget league. We know that league is based on the budget. They have a tight geographical area. You know, the IFL, a little bit, a little bit you know, not, not as bad as what this is. You know, concentrated on the Southwest and the Midwest. But, hey, you know... Arizona can pay for everything. It's Arizona. Matt, you know damn well Massachusetts ain't got no money in the IFL. There's no, they, they ain't got no money for that. But uh, I'm rambling right now because, you know, of how stupid this sounds. There's even a July 4th game. You know, who wants to be on Ontario, California on July 4th? You know, that's what the schedule says right here for week 7. You know, I'm assuming teams like eight games. That's what I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah, it's eight games. I, 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 I've completely forgotten. But yeah, I'm assuming the CIF might have the exact same thing. There may be a, there may be a release somewhere. I don't follow the CIF on Twitter. I don't think when the NAL, you know. Like, I immediately see something stupid from the NAL, and I have to say something about it like this. Should have just canceled the season, pack it up, get ready for 2022. That's what the, that's what the National Cross League did. Pack it up, get ready in November. Things, honestly, I think things will look a little better by November, but not too much, you know? But this is not about lacrosse right now. This is about arena football. This is about indoor football. 
So yeah, yeah. dub decision right here should have just canceled the season. You knew COVID was not. COVID is ravaging Florida. There's no way. COVID is ravaging these upper states. You know, in in the Northeast too. There's no way a season's gonna start. You know, on time. So whatever, whatever. Y'all take care, everybody. Whew, my goodness gracious.